Hey there, comic book fans. I thought today we'd take a look at Stan Sakai's Usagi Yojimo, Yojimbo Samurai and Other Stories, the gallery edition from Dark Horse. First of all, it's giant. There is the, a regular comic size for comparison. So this is done on... This is the size of the original art, which is done on 11 by 17 boards, 10 by 15 image size. And it's also quite thick. I mean, that's uh, 250 pages, I believe. Is when I, I've only glanced at this, so we're kind of looking at it together for the first time. I haven't really had a chance to go through it. And uh, some nice end papers there. And this is actually some very early Usagi stuff. I think it is. Um, like I said, I haven't read text and illustrations 1984, 86, 87, 1990. So this is uh, some fairly early Usagi. And interestingly, it starts out with this story that I just saw for the first time. Here it is. That was in the art of Usagi Yojimbo that Jimmy C sent me. That I'd never read before. It's just about him doing uh, how he does Usagi. Gives you some some of his sketches. Uh, you can see some white out there where he uh, lettered. And it starts out with that nice how-to. So oh, there's the end paper, the drawing. It looks like there was some yellowing there too. Must have been a logo there. Oof, this book is heavy. So this is some real early Usagi. You can see how he looks differently than he does today. We'll move on to a story from 1984. This must be from um, the Albedo where he first appeared in uh, in, the antho in the anthology stories because I, I don't even have any of this. I have uh, I started buying Usagi in 86 with his first issue. He'd appeared before he had his own comic book before. So it's interesting to see. Looks like he was even using, Stan Sakai uses mostly a pen these days. But if you look right there, it looks like he's using a brush for those thick to thins. Could be a pen, but he's using mostly a, a, a single weight pen line these days. That's certainly not the case in these early days. Up there, some nice line work, Bounty Hunter, and this dramatic... You know, they probably picked a lot of these early stories just because of... Uh, just because of all this line work and stuff that he did, that he did in these days. It's, uh, it's doing a lot of stuff with textures and line work. The Usagi looks totally different right there than he does nowadays. He's got sort of this different shaped head. Some of those little lizards that uh, Stan Sakai always draws around. Wow, look at that. That's a very nice, very nice illustration right there. Usagi looks quite short there in his early appearances. I guess everybody was kind of shorter. This blind rhinoceros has appeared since the beginning. I really should know his name, but I can't remember it. <laughs> He's been around. I've only been reading stories about him for 30 years. I think I could remember. Interesting. Nice little back when all the lettering was on the boards. 1986. That one's dated. Once again, some nice, some, this is where uh, you'd tear at the board with a razor in order to get that effect. So that's not white on black. That's lay down black ink and then scratch at it with a razor to get that snow effect. Interesting, the mole ninjas. Wow, let's, let's skip ahead because I can't go through this page by page. That'll take forever. Ah, oh, there's our... Our favorite rhinoceros again. I think is a blind swordsman. That's Usagi. That was that Usagi's master. It's flashing back to him when Usagi was. You can see uh, 
Osagi's looking a little different here. Still has that same, same shape. Osagi Ujimbo 2, Samurai, page 1. It's funny, in looking through this, he does such a nice job. And the pages are so perfect, it's almost less interesting to look at than all the imperfect pages you get from some, like, um, that Kirby book I was looking at with, you know, lots of white out and... Which one, which Kirby book do I have? It's not the New Gods, it's, uh... Or maybe it is the New God. I can't even remember now. I did a video of it, but, uh... With Vince Coletta on the inks and Vince Coletta ink erasing things and whiting things out. These are almost, uh... Remarkably perfect. Except I wonder what that... Look at that nice sword to sword, but then there's a ghost of whiteout over here. I wonder if he took out, he must have taken out some sort of background that he found distracting and just went with the white on white sword, the sword fight with the white background. Interesting there. Another pinup. Like I said, he liked uh, these pinups. He liked to do a lot of this texture stuff. Look at that there texture on the water wheel and the building and Usagi's shirt. Texture in the tree. Oh, I like that dragonfly. Look at that. I didn't even notice that at first. Check out that little dragonfly right there. Oops, I'm shaking the whole table with this giant book. Let's wait for everything to calm down here. Lots of texture on this uh, grass hat and armor. Wow, I like that. I like that hat. Oof. And just the way he got the inside of it so nice. And the outside. Wow, I'm having a tough time lifting this book. It's so giant. Let's skip ahead a little more. Kitsune, Usagi Ujimbo 32. Oh, you can see now Usagi's looking a, more, a little more like himself. We're seeing a lot more of this is a single weight pen line. If you look at that, there's only... Stan Sakai does a lot of this single weight pen line rather than uh, the thick to thin we saw in the early uh, issues. He's got a lot of the single weight, a lot of, once again, a lot of textures and things in there. Nice patterns and textures in her shirt. Another night. Wow, they, they, I'm really enjoying these scenes at full size. You can see all the detail in them. That's maybe harder to catch in the printed page. Like this is just, I just like that, that one right there. They've all got different little textures in their uh, bodies and shirts and the little money chips. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Guys all attacking him. <laughs> Always like the little skulls that Stan Sakai does when somebody dies. Little cartoon skulls come out of them. That's how you know they've died. Help me that. The lettering in here is beautiful too. Look at that bold, bold, bold lettering for that font. Oh man, you can really see the little lines around their eyes too as they run away. Let me bring that up too. It's just, wow, the, the detailing in this is very, very nice. Looks like he didn't make a lot of changes, or you only see white out every now and then, but boy, he did a lot with it. Some parallel lines. Nice sequence with a top on a sword's edge. Skip a little further. Wow, that's nice. See there. I guess he decided he wanted the uh, 
line of the arrow to be behind the shirt there of these three. This is once again all pen, single weight pen line he's using now, which is his uh, more modern style. She, age one, Osaka Yojimbo number five. Wow, this is this is really spectacular to look at at this size. I can really see the. Take a look at this guy's expression. Whoops, knocking into things. That guy's expression is really really nice. Shouting. Boy, I could thumb through this all day. So here's this nice establishing shot of the room. I like that. The wood floor is beautifully done. The shadows. Stance of guy is really, really good. Interesting beard. He's just got kind of a loop-de-loop -loop beard there. Wow, lots of texture. Oh, I like that uh, standing shot of him getting his... Uh, the chain off his sword. Nice stuff. Let's flip to the back and see what the bonus material is here. I think they have some sketches and things. Up there's some whiteout rain right there. Wasn't scratching there. Ah, some early 1984 cover of Albedo number no. two. First appearance of Usagi. 1985. I always like this cover. More dragonflies. You know, I don't think I ever really noticed the dragonflies in this cover. 1986, Stansica. Cover sketch, 1990, 1986 cover. Some random sketches. Unused page. Wow, that's some nice stuff. There's a fold out in here too. Yeah, there we go. Found it. Let's see what this fold out is. We gotta move this over here. Double page spread, Kitsune. Sahio Jumbo 32, that's nice. Clap, 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 clap. The back of Kutsune, page one. Okay, so this over here is some of his character designs that are on the back of a page. Interesting. Interesting. So this is a fabulous book. I'm glad I now have it. Wow, we'll close it up. I'll show you the back cover. What's the back cover? Back cover is just a small illustration. Flip it back over. There you go. A nice little look at gallery edition of Usaki Yojimbo, Samurai and Other Stories.